you can't even read that. Oh, you know what that is? What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> Just do it and get out. <laughs> oh. As you follow him, he is the light at the end of the tunnel and the way to the top of the mountain. We invite you to join our commune and become reincarnated. We have invited you to join us on the mountain for new enlightenment. Since Sergey's arrest, we have continued to expand here in... And I'm like, hello? And they're like, uh, we want you to be enlightened. You need to join today. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure. So we have arrived today in New Mexico. Well, actually we arrived last night, uh, just kind of hung out at the hotel, got some rest because we had a lot of driving that we've done so far. Um, so as you can see, there are like mountains everywhere. We're just kind of starting off in a random spot. Um, I did run our very first intent and uh, it says it is down there somewhere. So we're gonna head on over there in a little bit cars yeah there's a lot of passing cars apparently uh, but whatever so the first intent is from Natasha Watkins uh, she said to use eternal love so we're gonna head over to our point see if there's anything there um, if you guys do want to take part in these with your intents either leave them down in the comments below uh, or we'll also use them from Twitter once in a while I do ask for them so just you know, go and follow me over there and send us your best intents that you want us to use for these adventures. Um, apart from that, after New Mexico, which will only be here for probably a couple of days, um, and then we're gonna be heading through Arizona, and then we're gonna finally end up in Nevada, and then we'll probably be there for like five or six days. So we're gonna still have a ton of freaking content on the rest of this road trip. I'm imagining probably for the rest of December, there's gonna be a lot of these crazy ass videos. Plus we're gonna be doing some haunted stuff as well once we do get to Nevada. So if you're into that sort of thing, definitely look out for those as well. Go and follow my good friend, Francesco. I'm gonna leave his Instagram down in the description below with all of my social medias as well, of course. Put a like on this video and let's get the adventure started. Look wow. at this view. <laughs> this is intense, so we're just driving in right now and uh, we're heading towards our points, which is apparently closer to here. We're entering something area. Did that say flea area? I, I'm recording, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking I'm sure at what where that I, sign said. I'm looking at what I'm shooting there's here. There's like signs for like moose crossings. Uh, there are deer apparently. There's probably rattlesnakes. Would be surprised. Apparently we are entering the Dripping Springs Natural Area, which is kind of cool. We got these uh, random these great things. Noisy things. Definitely don't want to fly over one of those. But yeah, I flew the drone in already. It looked so incredible over here. So impressive. It does remind me a little bit of Alberta. It actually reminds me a lot of New Mexico, um, which is kind of cool. That was a joke, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll be there in about three minutes, so I'll uh, catch up with you guys in a second. So we uh, came to our point, which was right here, and I don't really see anything that could be related to eternal love, at least not in this one place. Um, the view is really cool, it's a little bit noisy, but um, I might actually go a little further in and try to run another point. We'll probably use the same point just to see if we can get anything on the second try. But the views right now are incredible. Look at that, that's cool. Yeah, so uh, we'll head a little uh, in that a point in a few moments. Uh, see if we can find our eternal love. 
question for Frank. Frank needs his love. <laughs> what they're doing it looks like they might be drilling for oil it honestly just looks like a bunch of poop is coming out so i'm not sure uh, if any of you guys know what they might be doing or have an idea i know let me know down in the comments below but, uh, yeah we'll let the uh, cowboy do his drilling over there and, uh, yeah we'll keep walking up this trail this is freaking crazy we're gonna be getting away from the sound soon, guys. We got a yeah, ways to go. So. Well, people he have died while climbing in these mountains. Don't attempt climbs or hikes that you don't have the ability, equipment, or the time to accomplish. Hike or climb with at least one other person. So we're here. We're good. Uh, leave word where you are going, and when you will return, leave rattlesnakes alone, and they will leave you alone. Take water and appropriate clothing with you. So. We are kind of dressed for the occasion. Uh, we do have some like winter jackets because it is cooling down. And um, I have like one bottle of water. You have some, you know, lemonade. Lemonade. So we should be good. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, are getting away from the noise down there and uh, just kind of admiring all the scenery. Look at all the mountains. I know. Look, Frank, mountains. <laughs> Shock and awe. <laughs> it's Frank's first time to the desert. Walks into here, he's like, wow. <laughs> this, is cool. this is cool. I like it. <laughs> I'm not even worried about rattlesnakes. Yeah. Screw you, rattlesnakes. All right, I think we are uh, maybe far enough that we could run another point. Uh, let's open up the app. All right, we are uh, generating some eternal love. Let's see what it says. Allow your mind to manifest. I am allowing. You're about to embark on your journey. For those of you who don't really know what Randonautica is, it is this app that uses intentions to generate random points and those points are essentially supposed to be significant to whatever it is that you're looking for in relation to your intent. So, we'll hold that for a second. What is that new? Um, okay, just zoom in here. Bring up on the maps. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, down that way. Which is good, I was hoping for that. Because um, I kind of wanted to stay on the trail. And yeah. Let's go! I'm actually hoping we don't run into any rattlesnakes. Well, I mean, it's cold. They're not, they're probably just I mean, underground it's right cold, now. But it's also not that cold. It's 14 degrees Celsius. I'm not yeah. sure what that is Fahrenheit. Also, would you, uh, would you like a Tums? Uh, I'm good actually. <laughs> no so, heartburn. Um, <laughs> we just went and we ate at some place called Grundy's here in Las Cruces. And they sell like, breakfast but apparently only until 10 30. we kind of slept in um but they had like some bomb ass fried chicken it was pretty good not the best i've ever had but it was definitely it was pretty good, pretty good. it was on good. a top list for so sure top five. now i'm just like popping tums just in case because <laughs> yeah we don't want to die he's lying he just likes the taste i do <laughs> it's also jazz's favorite candy <laughs> like you do know it's like medicine right he's like i don't care they taste good <laughs> i'm like all right i guess i'm with you on that <sighs> stuff moving around in there. I think. there's stuff moving everywhere out here yeah Ooh, tongue twister on that one all right so it looks like we have a few minutes to go and uh start recording as we get closer to our point we heard a dog squeaker and we stopped for like a minute. I'm like, oh, there's a dog around. Yay. Haven't heard or seen any dogs. So, <laughs> no. Which was kind of weird. Uh, yeah. This spot looks uh, intriguing. It's like a... Yeah, it's just so like... I don't know. It just stood out for some reason. Because it's like a little mini side trail. And then you can go to this very withered looking tree. I feel like a witch is going to jump out at you at some oh, point witch. or something. Oh my god. 
What's up? Or in the box. Oh. Weird. Very random place for an orange box. There's literally a guy yeah. in there. There's a person trapped in the box. There's a dick in a box. But I'm in a jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's Jack. Maybe his name is Jack. I don't know. Weird. We're, we're like not even at our point yet. You as my bro. He's oh. Accurate. We're not even at the point yet. The point is literally like three minutes. Like I think it's like past that bend down there. I fell in love with. What is that? Jorge? But they took him away from me. What the? Kind of looks like you, but flabby. <laughs> and more, more tattoos. <laughs> What did that even say? Mara? I don't even can't even read that. Oh, you know what that is? Okay, so a lot of you guys have been commenting this. I'm pretty sure it's MS-13. There's something in those bushes down there. Dude, this is like... I don't know who the, this person is, but... So a lot of you guys commented, we found photos a little while ago. Was it photos? Yeah, I think it was photos. And uh, a lot of you guys pointed out that it was MS-13. I think this is the same thing. I don't know, I could be wrong. But it looks similar to me. That's very strange. Yeah, dude, we're like not even at the point yet. We're not even really within the radius. Uh, we got a good way to go yeah, still. <laughs> a little bit of a good way to go. Well. So far, so good. I guess eternal love works. We'll keep walking down this way. Those mountains, like, right there, I don't, well, they're not even like mountains. They're more like jagged rock teeth looking things. These are actually pretty cool. Alright, let's we, uh, continue on. I hope it doesn't start raining. Yeah, let's hope not. Yeah. I didn't see it in the forecast, so... Yeah, me neither. It looked a little, like, overcast, but, like, sun. Yeah. It was sunny on the way here. Like I said, it keeps the snakes at bay. It's nice and cold. Hopefully. What is that? Is that cold? I don't know. Let's see the... Orange it, thing. It looks like an orange peel. <laughs> Probably is. It matches this. <laughs> oh, that's why I caught your eye. Like, yeah. oh, more orange. I just suddenly saw another orange thing. I'm like, oh, is there another one? I mean, there's snow up there. I think it's snow. It looks like, kind of like snow. Right up there in between the two peaks, yeah. right? I mean, up there, it's probably really there. cold. It's not even that much higher. Well, it doesn't look that much higher up. I'm sure it's a lot oh, higher sure up. Pretty high up. All I gotta say, guys, is driving up to this, it looks like it's a painting. Like, it, when you're looking at the mountains, the way it all looks, yeah. it's like a it doesn't look real. That's why, uh, that's why New Mexico is known as the land of enchantment. Because you see it and you're just, wow. Yeah, but it doesn't so even look cool. like, it looks like a picture in the distance. It's yeah. so weird. So, I think our point would have been just about here. That's what it looks like, because we came around the bend. Looks right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks right to me, but... I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright. Well, maybe we'll run another point and... Uh, see what happens. See where it takes us, I suppose. So I did run another point. Um, I am going to do missing persons. It is like bringing us all the way in there, pretty far in. Um, randomly came across this stuff. <laughs> There's an oil... Old... Oil... Old? Oil old. <laughs> See, I was getting tongue twisted too. It's the cold, I'm telling you. It's it the mountain like air. An old oil tank or maybe a water tank. Probably or oil. What? I'm not quite sure. Maybe like a furnace or something. Possibly. Um, there's a couple like remnants of it. looks kind of like maybe there was a town or something here. So this thing is a yellow football. Oh. <laughs> A 
Samuel and Antueros. First Cavalry Division, America's first team, Stay Cav. That's interesting. Someone forgot their football out here or? Juniperus de Panoa. It's called Sabino. Alligator Juniper. Alright, here. I'll go long. I got a camera. <laughs> I got a camera, guys, so don't make fun of me, okay? Anybody out here with uh, the name Samuel? You forgot your football, apparently. I'm gonna try and throw it my left. The, right. This could not go very well. Go for it. Huh! That was horrible. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> Sorry, tree. All right. Well, that's interesting. Um, yeah, it looks like it's still a little bit of a hike before we get to the next thing. Uh, so we'll probably start recording soon. I think we need to change that battery. Up. Yeah, let's get this thing switched out. Yeah, alright. Alright guys, so we have uh, come across this tarantula. Oh, he stopped! He stopped! I think he sees us! I think he sees us! <laughs> yeah, he's gonna jump at you. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Woo wee! This is uh, quite the hike up this way. Holy! That was pretty cool, man. You've never seen a tarantula before, let alone in the wild. Well, I think I have seen them, but like, you know, like a pet store or something. Okay. It's not the same as finding it on a random trail <laughs> while you're about to climb up this freaking mountain over here. We're uh, still making our way up and uh, the views are just absolutely epic. Okay, so uh, continuing on, um, I did warm up, hence why I had to strip of my jacket, which I hooked on my bag. Um, so it is telling us that it is about one mile this way is our point. I did use the intent missing persons, just cause, I don't know. I'm just curious, like, would we actually even find anything up in the mountains using an intent like that? So, uh, figured might as well give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a go. Woo! Now, all we need to see is a rattlesnake. I knew you were going to say it. I was going to say, and, don't say it. Uh, oh, there's one. No, I'm joking. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard, you. We probably will run into one at some point. I, I don't mean, know. It's cold. It's bound to happen, right? So, I don't think it's going to happen today. Yeah. What is that? Oh, what the hell? For a second, I thought it was like a lizard or something. Like some weird, shiny lizard. What? Oh. I didn't even see what you're looking yeah, at. <laughs> it just caught me at the corner of my eye. It's like little shoes. And they're they have watermelons. What the hell? That's weird. There's that dog squeaking thing again. Yeah. Still no dog. I have not seen a single dog. Actually, you're not even supposed to bring dogs here. There was a sign that literally said no dogs. Probably because there's rattlesnakes and... Probably. Yeah. So then why the dog squeaker? Uh... <laughs> what? Yeah, coyotes got it. Maybe? <laughs> what the hell? What? Same one? Yeah, it's literally the other shoe. What the f That's weird. Okay. Maybe I'll we'll bring them to the front after and uh, see if anybody left them behind. There. Yeah, what's with all the weird stuff over here? <laughs> Hello? We haven't really seen too many people out here. There was like one couple, they were walking back that way. Yeah. They were actually the ones who noticed the, uh, the tarantula. Oh, 
kind of looking to see if there's any more like shoes or anything. Keep your eyes open. Ooh, like, are these I don't think so. They're like palm trees. Oh, oh is it? Yeah, they're spiky. No Ow. way. Yeah. <laughs> they're not as bad as the other ones, the like kind of rounded looking ones. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, they'll, 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 just, they'll do some damage if you fall into it. a bird? Kind of, yeah. And then in the... I heard something like take a, somebody take a step over there, but there's no one there. I was <laughs> recording the whole time, yeah. so if somebody did, we got it. Weird. Is there someone like in the bush? that makes that sound. It's definitely a bird. Think so? Yeah, it's gotta be a bird. It's consistent. Long breath. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, <laughs> unless it's a type of cricket. Maybe? It could be like some weird bug that we've just never encountered before. It's so, uh, other than that, it is so freaking quiet out here. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, I think we still have a little bit to go. We'll uh, probably start recording when we get closer to our next destination. Holy crap, man. Been walking forever. Pretty much approaching our next point. Uh, right here at the base of this freaking mountain. For a second, for some reason, I think I'm seeing like I think I'm hallucinating. <laughs> For some reason, I thought there was a cow on the mountain up there, but it's a tree. Oh. <laughs> it's literally a tree. <sighs> Got another little chill spot over here. We're pretty much at the point, I think. Not seeing anything. Okay, I guess we'll uh, keep going and. Uh, See if we find anything cool. Probably run another point at some some time. Something over there. See that? Yeah. It could just be like cabin a, right there. Yeah, it could be like a little cabin or something. Our next point is actually uh, further in. It actually looks like it goes right to the base. That's cool. Yeah. I want to see the base. Yeah, my legs are on fire. <laughs> Quite the hike. So I did, uh, I did do the gym two days in a row. And then I think we swam also two days in a row. Yeah. Um, there's been this annoying trend happening everywhere we go. Every hotel. Well, okay, not every hotel, but. Almost every hotel. Like. Nine out of 60%, ten. <laughs> 60%. No, not even nine out of ten, but. 60% of the hotels we go to, for some reason, all of their pools are all broken. Every single one. And we got to our hotel last night. And they just closed it. And the lady's like, well, the check-in lady's like, yeah, the pool, because we asked. And the pool, she's like, yeah, the pool's open until 10. She's like, you got two hours. I'm like, cool. And uh, we went upstairs, changed, came back down, going towards the pool room. And the front desk lady switched all of a sudden. And that lady's like, hey, the pool's closed. You can't go in there. I'm like, what? We even had our towels. Yeah, we had everything. Everything. But yeah, apparently there's a little piece broken. Hence why the water was kind of cold when we checked it. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they fix it because I really want to go. Where did that cabin looking thing go? Like vanished behind the bush. Yeah. 
Was it a mirage? I don't know. Is this like Cabin in the Woods, that scary movie? You know that one? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, so do I. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. So, it looks like there's a bunch of old historic buildings here. Look, a tumbleweed! It's tumbling! <laughs> Where are you looking? Where's the weed? I don't know, there was just like a small little tumbleweed. But, oh. Um, yeah, I don't really know what these are. It says they're historic buildings on the sign. Oh, that wind just Ooh. picked up. That's like cold wind too. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my hood back on so my hat stays on. The livery or livery? I don't know. These oak oak buildings include the livery, chicken coop, and mercantile. All the, are the first signs they are close to Eugene Van Patten's mountain camp. Only quarter mile left to go. Guests arrived at Van Patten on stagecoach and horses. The stagecoach drivers would place the wagons inside a long barn next to the corral up at camp's dining room. Guests would enjoy a wonderful meal, including seasonal fruits, vegetables, beef, milk from the dairy cow, and fresh eggs from the chickens raised here. Once automobiles became available, you would also be able to see them here. That's so cool. Yeah, it's like a really old picture. I wonder if we can see inside any of them. Yeah, they actually just got like mesh on them. So these are OGs. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty messed up. That's really hard to get with the camera on that. Yeah, that's okay. That was <laughs> bird. Huh? Oh, he's trapped inside. How did he get in there? Hey, excuse me. Can you show us where the, the entrance is, little bird? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to go inside and explore these old buildings. Well, these, these are like little snake holes. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't get too close to that. Oh, well, I'm right beside <laughs> it already, so I might as well record it. What's that? He yelled, just yelled out. It's like somebody yelled, Hey! I don't think it was from down there. That's actually where we gotta go. It looks like the trail continues. kind of like it came from there but I'm not really sure well there's the entrance to that one you can probably fit in there yeah okay <laughs> it's like a cat door yeah maybe your leg okay I guess we'll uh carry on what's that like pit thing there is that like some sort of well or... a well let's check it out we're here why not Hopefully that sun peeks through. It looks like it's about to. You know, I'm, this is kind of like a little ghost town. I think that's actually what this is. This was oh. probably once like a like a town. Maybe this was like for the horses, like to drink water or something like that. Probably, that would make sense. Yeah. Well, they said they had a chicken coop. They would have brought a lot of the uh, uh, coach coach stages here. Nice. <coughs> All right. All right. I guess we'll uh, carry on and head towards our final destination down there somewhere. Interestingly enough, we have found snow, <laughs> which is uh, pretty wild. So our uh, missing person's intent, it was a little far, but it does say it's up this way. So, and it kind of looks like there is something there, like a building of sorts. Not sure what it was, but we're about to find out. Wow, this is crazy. Imagine being all the way on the top there. What a view. Right? <laughs> there was, uh, I'll never forget the one that we did that was 12,000 feet in the air. That was closer to uh, Albuquerque. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's so majestic! 
kind of like it's majestic like Frank's booty <laughs> just saying <laughs> Okay, almost there. Oh, well, we're coming up on something. I can see like a a rock wall. Oh, there's a building right there. Look. Oh. Yeah. I knew there was something there. Looks like there was something on the map. Nice. <coughs> we good. Yeah, we good, all right. Uh, oh, maybe not my legs, but we're good. Your legs like uh, they're like Jello right now. Yeah. Well, at least it's, I guess today's leg day. Yeah, right, we yeah. Upper body You're gonna feel that today. Days, so today is definitely light day. Uh, it looks like our point led us to a bunch of random buildings. I don't really know what they are. That one looks like the pee room. Yeah. Most likely. Woo! This was one hell of a hike. Yeah. Let's see what uh, see what we got here. Train is rough, just so you guys know. This is why it's so tiring. Right. Going uphill, tiny rocks. This is so freaking cool. Though. There's a sign. I don't know what it was. So Boyd later refused to pay Van Patten rent. So apparently some guy named Dr. Boyd, Dr. Nathan E. Boyd, a, phys a physician and businessman, agreed to pay Eugene Batten, Van Patten $25 per year um, in order to help to attract health seekers. Boyd refused to pay Van Patten rent. I'm just trying to kind of speed this up a little bit here. Uh, So it's a homestead, essentially. The building in front of you served as a kitchen and dining hall. Dr. Boyd and his family lived in a house behind the building. The guests stayed in a cottage and tents. I don't see a building behind it, though. It probably is up top. It's interesting, though. No, I don't even think it's there at all. Maybe the house is gone, but this building is still here? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know like which spot we can actually see it from. Yeah, I guess at night it picks up. I don't even know if that's a trail. I'm just trying to figure out where the, uh, the no, there's no house there. It's gone. This a What's up? Something behind. <coughs> it's a rat. Is a rag? It looks like a rag. It's a red rag in this blue bone. We found squeaky? I think we found the squeaker. But no person, no dog. Oh, the wind. Whoa. It's gonna like blow us Whoa. over. <laughs> There's a shirt. kind of like as we go along but there's nobody here not a single person we've only come across like one couple and it looked like they went back towards the uh the exit where we started from so that's kind of weird but okay um so i think i'm going to run one more point in this area just for shits and giggles but i'll probably include that on the vlog channel um so if you're not following me there definitely go and follow over there and uh, you guys will see if we happen to find anything in this area. 
All right, guys, so uh, we just ran another point. We're actually not too far from where we just were. Um, we were like down there inside of that area, kind of. Um, we were gonna leave, but we're like, you know what? This place is just too cool to leave. So um, I did run the same intent that we started with, which is eternal love. It did say that our point is somewhere over here. I don't really know what there is. The sun is going down, so uh, we gotta kind of make it snappy at this point, because um, I really don't want to be out here in the darkness. There are rattlesnakes and God knows what else there is. We did find a tarantula. That was like the highlight of my day because I've never seen one in person before. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what's at our point. Let's see if we can find some eternal love. Is that the moon? It is. Oh wow, look at that. I can already see the moon. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa. That is wild. You know, it's pretty amazing that the moon has been burning that bright light for like, what has it been, like 2.5 million years now? Isn't it billions? Oh, I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, I think it's billions. <laughs> I don't think it's millions. I think it's I billions. Have no idea. <laughs> what is this? I thought there was going to be a trail that goes like that way. <laughs> okay. Someone's coming. Probably. Yeah. Probably gonna tell us to get the f out of here, but <laughs> here's this thing. What's that? It's flowers. There's something in it. Just two minutes, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll be out of here in a minute. There's literally two, two more postcards. Okay, that is fucking weird. Okay. <laughs> Strange, but okay. <laughs> is that a park ranger guy? Oh, it is uh, definitely a park ranger guy. Yeah, ranger for sure. Guy. For some reason. I guess he's just making sure people are not doing, you know, what they're not supposed Sorry, let's, to be let's doing. let's get you facing over here because the sun's like... Too much, uh... Yeah, it's just blanking the screen out. things like in my face. It's probably covered in God knows what. Tar tarantula. <laughs> this is really weird. Let me see. Look at the name. Ra Ra Raquel. Oh. Yeah. This is a stamp from... Doesn't say Bruton Parison Church, Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, greetings from Virginia. Scout and I are came on something. Man, it's really hard to read this. Field trip to DC and surrounding in. Stormical Sweets today? What? What? I have no idea. We meant to James Stones and Williamsburg. We went to Jamestown and Williamsburg, which were both very interesting, especially uh, appreciate the la something something that mystery and I don't even know, it took place there. History, that history actually took place there, okay. Uh, it wasn't a replica of a colonial town. Ooh, battery flashing. Yeah, okay, well, um, there is another one. I don't really understand what the hell is going on here, but and then the other one is just all in Spanish. We'll probably go through it. If the battery's dying, we'll just go through it in a sec. Yeah. Maybe once we get uh, get out of this area. All right, um, I'll take these with me. It is really weird that there's a flower thing here, but I guess we'll just leave that where we found it. I don't even know. 
<sighs> Alright guys, so uh, <clears throat> we couldn't get through reading these postcards. Um, but yeah, so one is clearly in Spanish. I don't know if any of you guys can read any of that, but it says, Se, se que estamos distantes e coea muito tempo now nos chorus pondemos i have no idea what any of that means but the same name keeps reappearing on all these postcards that we're finding all over the freaking place i don't know how the hell that's possible i checked back in the footage and it actually looks pretty much the same as the the ones we found before the only thing that's weird is that the handwriting constantly changes so i've noticed that when it's in like spanish it's like super neat and then when it's written in english it's like kind of hard to read um chicken scratch yeah and they're from different addresses all over the place it's weird how we keep finding stuff like this related to whenever do we use the intent love um i don't know we're getting some weird clues but how is this even possible because we found these in what texas i think y well we were in texas we found the first set of them and then we found some again i think like a couple days ago, and then we found more today in New Mexico. Very strange. Um, so, the, oh, that one's from 1996. I was five years old. Yeah. Five years old? <laughs> five years old. Oh, you were five years old. 91, said, right? I thought you meant, said it's five years old. Oh. I was like, no. <laughs> was. 96 is a while ago. I don't even know where that is. It could be somewhere in New Mexico. I have no idea. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and run another point. That was very strange. What was also strange is that that truck pulled up. I'm pretty sure it was just a park ranger. I thought he was gonna be like, oh, you guys gotta leave or whatever because the park closes at five. Because there was like a main gate, so it was probably a good thing that we left uh, as soon as we did. Hence why we were kind of like rushing out of there at that point. Plus the battery literally died two seconds after I said, um, we'll see you guys in a bit, but yeah, I guess uh, once again, we'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, welcome back um, We tried one point unfortunately we couldn't go in there because it was trying to take us into another park and the parks are closed So we couldn't do that one um, We ran another intent dark secret that is from Henry Rene so shout out to you it has brought us here to this random thing on the side of the highway I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at but <laughs> I can clearly see there's like benches and like some rocks and stuff so um, yeah it's probably a pretty cool spot during the day um, it is really really windy for example the door wants to blow away uh, so this is not going to be too fun. I'm going to have to take my hat off for this. Yeah, I don't even have my hat on. Blows it's away. just no point. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go let's get out there. there. <clears throat> it got cold. Yes, it is really cold. Like bone chilling cold. or something. Yeah, or a rocket or something. Yeah. Looks like a rocket. Let's see it. Oh, there's a plaque. There's what? Oh, there's a plaque. There's a plaque. Oh, oh it is a missile. Yeah, it's made by Nike. It's a Hercules missile. Anti-aircraft missiles like this. Nike Hercules once stood guard around many major U.S. cities and facilities during the war. Huh. That's pretty cool. Um, Wait, did you say nuclear? Hercules, no. Oh, I thought nuclear. you said nuclear for no. some reason. Uh, oh, it is equipped with a nuclear warhead. Oh, so it's yeah. nuclear. <laughs> Explosive warheads. Destroying a whole formation of attacking enemy airplanes with one missile. Whoa, that's sick. That's kind of cool. That's deadly. That is deadly. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something else. I mean, you can always depend on Nike to make good products, right? So. <laughs> Especially a rocket. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's probably not actually made by me. <laughs> oh, you want to see uh, mountain goats, right? I did. Yeah. Big orange sheep. Yeah. Alright, hope you have to... 
I guess there was like forest fires here before. Well, yeah, I'd imagine good. so. I mean, it's so dry. Yeah, living on the edge. Desert big orange. It's just like maps and stuff all over here. So I'm guessing this is like a scenic overlook type of thing. It's just dark. Uh, yeah, just right now it's too dark to actually see anything. What was that? What? There's like a flash of light from down there. When we pulled in, there was no one in the parking lot. Hmm. Okay. So this is the dark secret? The Nike Hercules missile? I mean, we can, I, don't, I can't yeah, see nothing on the I camera. Really what? <laughs> Are you it's actually like, going in the garbage? Huh? In the garbage? <laughs> snakes or rats just do it <laughs> just do it and get out <laughs> oh it's a nice case for somebody just to throw out though well, why would they do that invite you to join our commune and become reincarnated alongside of Viserion. I am the living word of God the Father. Everything that God wants to say, he says through me. Come join our next ceremony. There's fucking coordinates here too. And then dot 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 T plus T whatever, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna check out these coordinates though. Okay. I guess somebody got an invitation oh. to something and like decided they're not interested. <laughs> Weird. Let's uh let's go back to the car because it's freaking cold as all hell. Yeah. We'll, uh, run the coordinates and see what they are. All right, so it looks like we are we are definitely at an overlook. It's the San Augustine Pass Overlook. Um, what was that thing? Oh, it just goes to like some weird thing. My hand is frozen. It is like frigid out there. <laughs> it only took two minutes to freeze. <laughs> right? Like it did not take long at all. It is nine degrees Celsius, but it definitely doesn't feel like it. Thirty-two point three nine. One, two, seven, five, minus curious as to what that could possibly be so maybe we'll go there next and uh, see what it is huh this is creepy <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's very very dark so um, we've come to the coordinates that we found on that picture at that scenic overlook 
and um, it has brought us to the base of a mountain. There is a mountain back there. Kind of hard to see, but it is definitely there. Um, don't even know why the hell we're here, but uh, we about to find out, I guess. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cold though. Yeah, it's <laughs> so a, cold. There's a big warning sign. It is definitely cold. God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. Uh, yeah. Sometimes bad ideas are great ideas. Yeah. So we got a warning here. It says people have died while climbing in these mountains. Oh, it's the same thing as earlier, right? Yeah. Just don't bother the snakes. They don't bother you. Don't climb the mountains. Yeah, pretty much. But I mean. Makes Looks sense. like somebody shot the sign at some point. I don't know, is that actually like a bullet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so. I think somebody shot that with like a shotgun or something. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to be like that for? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is a creepy. Yeah. There's all hell. What the hell is that? What's that? What is that? Is that an animal? Better not be an animal. Is that an animal? I don't know. It's not moving. I honestly can't even tell from here. Let me try and turn out the brightness. You see any? Oh, what the hell is that? It's definitely not. No, an that's animal. not an animal. What the hell? At least it's not a feral pig. What the hell? So, um, <clears throat> interesting thing when we first got here, we noticed there was like a whole bunch of campers, trailers. I guess it's just a common place to park. Um, it's just strange that we're being led to this weird random spot. There's that thing. It kind of looks like a, like a barrel. <laughs> That's probably just what it is. Maybe they were drinking or something. We struck oil. <laughs> well, that's not a barrel at all. Nope, that is definitely not a barrel. <laughs> that's a thing. Chest thing. There's definitely stuff in mm -hmm. it. There's also uh, some poop right there. Poop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, poop. things in there. What is that? It's a little doll. Just got a little hat. It's a piece of clothing. Oh yeah, it's part of like a yeah, dress down. like a suit. Yeah, suit. Vest. It's very small though. Is that? That's definitely not adult size. No, no, that's that's. Oh, oh look, sorry. it landed on me. Yeah, you tried to kill it. <coughs> oh, Get out of here! <laughs> that was just evil. No one wants you. There's a these things. Oh, what the? Silver? Yeah. Like real silver? I couldn't even tell. You. They must be silver. Or stainless? No. I have no idea. It's like a Rapunzel thing. Piece of paper. It's gonna be blank. Definitely something written on it. Remember the other night we were somewhere and we found like a bunch of blank sheets of paper. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what's more creepy, having the actual, having a letter or 
bunch of blanks thrown at you. Um, so it says, hello, welcome to Visarion, he who is the real Jesus. We have invited you to join us on the mountain for new enlightenment. Since Sergey's arrest, we have continued to expand here in... I don't even know what the hell that says. I see an N, but the rest is just a scribble. Uh, with now over 4,000 plus secret members here alone. Now, you will be the next to be part of our great movement. Again, welcome. John Smith. We'll meet you soon for your next step. Weird? Well, how are we? What? I'm confused and weirded out at the same time. Something else in here. What is that? Yeah, that's, that's a USB stick. Is there anything else in this? Oh, the rest looks empty. There's one more zipper thing. That is really strange. So we found something about this Visarian. I don't even know what the hell that is. Um, at the last point. I don't know. I just find that really strange. Was that everything? Those are all my batteries. Huh? That was everything? Yeah, that was everything. A uh, letter, some cups. What else was there? That vest. What does the cup signify? I wonder. I couldn't even tell. There was four anything. cups, right? Three, four. Um, yeah. yeah, there was definitely four. Yeah, I lost one of my batteries. What the heck? Because I find it funny because you said in the letter it said, "We, we will meet you at your next step." Yeah. So there's four. If there's four cups, I would assume two cups, one for me, one for you, and then who are the other two, four? I mean, why would they be for us? I don't even know why the hell it's here in the first right? place. That's just weird in general. I'm just trying to put the letter yeah. with the findings and... Yeah, you're also standing in shit, by the way. No, I'm standing beside oh, you're it. you're just beside it, okay. I'm beside it. Just from the light, you couldn't really tell. Yeah, but no, I don't know, good. man. That's, uh, that's some weird stuff. And they're talking about, like, enlightenment and, like, going up the mountain or something. I mean, there is a mountain. There's clearly a light up there. You can see it from here. Ah, uh, I think that's a star. Is it a star? Yeah, because it's flickering. I don't know. I can't like, quite tell if that's. The it looks like a mountain red star. I was looking at that from before, and I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, is that an actual red star? I guess we can bring that to the entrance, but is there anything else on this? Um. I don't really see anything else, so we'll just go back to the parking lot and uh, go from there, I guess. Call cool. Jazz back and see what he wanted. All right, guys, so we've uh, made it back to the car and uh, I don't know, that was really freaking weird. Um, I just told Jazz that we were filming something. You can give me a call whenever. Speak of the devil. Hello, kind sir. Okay. Not much, how is New York? I'm actually in a sports car. Oh, nice. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit, but what's up? Oh. Oh, did we lose him? I think so. Did you get better? Oh. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, no. Oh. Huh? <laughs> maybe try calling him back or. Yeah, maybe, back. hang on. I'll call you back in two seconds. Let me try and get a better connection. Okay. All right. I was, yeah, there <laughs> was, was like no weird. understanding him. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, 
Hello. That's better. You hear me? Yeah, perfectly. What's up? Okay. Uh, nothing, dude. I got a weird phone call, and I wanted to tell you what it was. <laughs> weird. So, I'm here at the sports bar, and I get a phone call from a, it was like a blocked caller, right? Okay. And I was like, bro, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm just trying to enjoy my time, right? So I get this phone call, and I step away, I go into the bathroom, and I'm like, hello? And they're like, uh... We want you to be enlightened. You need to join today. And I was like, come again? And they were like, hello, Angelo. We would like for you to join today and be enlightened and a whole bunch of other stuff. Like, it sounded like a cult. <laughs> it, it, it was like a, the only way I can explain it is like a Jehovah Witness called me, but for yeah. like some, and um, they said something about like a vi vi like a Visarian, something like that, that they were, and I was like, yeah, Whoa. sorry, I, I, you know, I'm good, yeah, <laughs> but I was like, I'm not Angelo, and they were like, can you pass yeah. Angelo phone, I'm like, I'm, I'm New York. That is really weird, dude, we, we just had an odd day, found a bunch of odd stuff, as per usual, I guess, and, um, <laughs> Yeah, we just found some weird note from the same thing, I guess. Visarian. I have no idea what the hell this Visarian thing is, but I don't know. It gave us coordinates to somewhere. It was like inviting us to join or whatever. So I don't know how the f they got your number and why they're calling for me. I know I don't know these people. I wonder this every day of my life. Right. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for letting me know. Uh, we're currently, no, we're in New Mexico right now. Uh, we're close to uh, Las Cruces. We're actually standing at the base of a mountain. Um, just, oh, cool. you know, roaming around, exploring, doing some randonautica, filming some stuff, and uh, yeah. Probably gonna go get some Mexican food after this. And burn Frank's asshole. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Stay away from the mustard. <laughs> Stay away from the mustard. All right, well, we'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, very shortly. Actually. All right, cool. Just let me know if you get any more weird phone calls from me, I guess. Yeah, keep me updated as well, bro. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, we will. Take care, buddy. All right, talk to you later. See you guys. Bye. Peace. Okay, what the f What the hell? Right? What? Like, did I sign up for something online accidentally? <laughs> They're like... But what are the odds that... We find that, we find the other thing, and then they call him looking for me. That's too on point. Right? All right, that's weird. Something is uh, not adding up. So I'm leaving that thing here in the parking lot because I don't know what that is and I don't want it, but there is a USB stick and I'm curious to know what's on it. Um, so I think when we get back to the hotel, we'll probably check that and I don't know. Might be nothing, might be something. I have no idea. USB the last, sticks are scary. Yeah, the last two USB keys I found, um, they were both locked. Like you had to input a Oh, password. you found USB keys I before? I found two before. I think one in Arizona and one somewhere else. I don't even remember where I found it. Um, but they've both been locked. Like I don't know what the password is. I tried like, you know, the common ones. Password 123, password 1234. Um, Four zeros, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank has chicken legs, uh, things like that. <laughs> but they never seem to work, so... Um, yeah, I guess we'll head back to the hotel and take a gander at what the hell might be on that USB stick. I'm ready now. Are you? I think so. All right. Um, so it's been a little bit since um, we dealt with this experience and uh, I actually kind of forgot about this to be honest with you. Um, I have the letter and we have the USB stick. Have not checked what's on this thing and I'm hoping honestly that it's just nothing. <laughs> That would be the best case scenario. That would be ideal, because I don't really want to find anything creepy, but... Hopefully it works. I mean, yeah, hopefully it works. Looks like a little cheapy 
Was it rusted? <laughs> huh? Is it rusted? Rusted? Oh. Yeah, no. No, it's good. Oh, okay. I thought you said rustic at first. No, no, rusted. Which would make sense because it does look like it's like 20 years old, but. <laughs> Alright, let's stick her in here. And of course, there's something on it. What do we have here? Um, how do we change the view? Oh, right, okay. Make it like bigger. Yeah, what the hell is this? It's like a. What is that? It's like a. Um, I, I can't remember what religion it's connected to, but. That's a religion? It could be a symbol, like of a god. Oh. A certain kind of god. Oh, maybe. I'm not yeah. sure if it's like. Uh, I can't remember the religion. I, don't even I can't know. put my finger on it. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, okay, we got that. We got Jesus. Uh, I'm not sure what this says because I can't read whatever that is. That's weird. Where do you see writing? Oh. Okay, well, I'll let them try to decipher that if they want. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I don't know. Where's the volume? The volume? Um, hang on. Hello. Welcome. We have a special request for you. Our beloved Jesus, all powerful and mighty, needs your help. We are looking to open a new community near you and want you to assist in its operation. We know who you are, and your reply must be quick and easy. Sergey wants to meet you personally and baptize you under Vysarian rule of law. Sergey will be arriving soon and will need us all on his quest of preach, and as the only God needs all willing. Sergey will be arriving soon and will need us all on his quest of preach, and as the only God needs all willing. Otherwise, all must go. Please reply at your soonest. We Please look reply at your soonest. We look forward to it. Invite and John. Invite and John Smith. What the f***? Are you just as confused as me? Just a little bit. I completely lied there. I'm completely confused. <laughs> I was trying to be nice about what? it. But what the hell? <laughs> what did I? What did you just receive? Is that like another invite? It was. It was with the one we found. No, I meant the USB key. I mean, I guess so. Because when we found this letter, it says. Hello, welcome to Vysarvian. Okay. Oh, okay, that's the right, right. Yeah. It was the letter with he the USB. Who is real Jesus? We have invited you here to join us on the mountain for enlightenment. Since Sergey's arrest, uh, we have continued. I gotta look this shit up. This is fucking weird. Now you will be. Now you will be the next to be part of our great movement. Isn't that a choice, John Smith? That's what if you choose no, I'm not, which you're obviously choosing no, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, uh, a little... Okay. This is the rest of the photos on the USB stick. Huh. Okay. What the hell is this? Some sort of demon thing. Mm, road closed. Okay. And then we have Jesus again. Is that it? Looks oh. like it. Yeah, like Is it like just a child? What's that supposed to signify? I don't understand. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh. What? Hello. Welcome. We. Okay. 
I don't know what this is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say right now. Huh. It's like, what do you say to that? Right? Really? Like, There's nothing else on here, so the rest of these are just But how fine. do you reply to an invite without a return? <laughs> like... I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Like, I, how would we even respond? Can I just, like, say no? I'm cool, like, you know. Just yell no outside all I the time. I got my own Jesus. He's cool. Um, you know, I'm sure your Jesus is pretty cool, too, but, like... You're more like a cult. That's forceful. That's what it looks like, yeah. But, okay. Um, I don't really know what to make of this. I'm gonna probably sleep on it. Uh, or not sleep anymore. Yeah. <laughs> After that, like, just dude, the sound of that was. Might need a couple more ultras. <clears throat> F that shit. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess that's where we're ending this video off. Uh. That was weird, but okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, smash the like button. Um, I'm just so f***ing confused right now. <laughs> Literally, I don't even know what to say. I don't want to like be rude and laugh, but like that's kind of messed up. Yeah, um, subscribe. Turn notifications on. We find creepy stuff all the time. And um, more randonauta could have come. We are heading towards uh, Arizona. We're going to be in uh, Nevada soon, and it should be a good time. Go and follow me on social media. Go follow Frank, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.